Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce you to creating and using custom views in Zoho CRM. One of the most common questions I get from people using Zoho CRM relates to creating and using custom views. A view in Zoho is basically a filtered view of your data which is saved so that it can be easily accessed and used in various parts of the software. Having these filtered views allows you to get the information you need when you need it without having to search the system for that specific information. Uh, basically, views allow you to sort through a ton of data to get specifically what you need or look at your data in one specific way that you've defined in advance to make it quickly accessible. So it's very useful. Uh, views are also used to populate widgets on the home screen dashboard uh, to allow for you to view these targeted um, subsets of your data on your home screen. Uh, they also allow for you to interface with the mass email um, functionality to predefine a certain group of people to send an email to. So let's have a, let's take a look at views. So I'm currently here on my accounts module and up here in the top of the screen I can see a drop down list where I can view uh, the various views that are defined in my system. As you can see we have predefined views and recent views. Those are views that are that come standard with Zoho. Uh, we also have user created views and these are custom views that you can define um, to identify information that you want to see. And so I'm going to talk to you about editing standard views and also creating custom views. If I have a view selected you'll notice I'm on a standard view called all accounts. I can edit it but I can't delete it or clone it. Uh, I can also create a brand new custom view here using these links as well. So what I'm going to do is hover over this and click edit which is going to allow me to make some edits to the standard view. The standard views um, allow you to edit them, but not as much as with a custom view. Uh, with a standard view, I can identify what fields of data show up in the view, but I don't have the ability to filter that view um, to a specific subset of records. I also don't have the ability to um, identify which particular users can access that view all of which can be done with a custom view. So that's why I'm going to show you the difference between standard and custom. So it's really simple here. On the left are all the data fields I have available, including the standard fields coming with Zoho, as well as any custom fields that you've defined. All I need to do is choose a field, click add. I can delete fields here that I don't want to see. I can also move them up and down. Very easy. Once you've defined the fields that you want to see, we just click save and my view is now um, customized. Um, again, that was a standard view located in the top of the list up here. Um, if I want to create custom views, uh, we need to create a brand new view. So that's what we'll go ahead and do next. So um, let's go ahead and click Create View. It's going to allow me to create a custom view. I can give it a name. So let's call this um, customers. Okay, so once I've named it, uh, I can go ahead and choose the columns that I want to view. So maybe I want to see who the account owner is, and maybe I'll put that up here. Account owner, account name, maybe account type. Maybe I want to also see what state they're in, so I'll just put their billing state here as well. All right. Um, so that's all the same as what we just saw. Now, um, down here in the bottom of the screen is where we have a few differences, and this is going to be um, unique to custom views. Like I said before, uh, standard views cannot be customized using these two elements here, the criteria, which is my filtering criteria, and also I can't choose who can see a standard view. They're just by, by default available to everyone. So here I can choose all users are allowed to create to view this custom view, show this custom view only to myself, or allow the following users. So if I choose to show, show it only to me, that means that no, none of the other users in my system can use this view. Uh, I can also come in here and choose particular users, particular groups or roles, you know, if you're using the roles and profiles, roles and subordinates, you know, or just particular users. So you have that ability as well. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it on all users are able to use this view. So now here on criteria, if you're if you are familiar with customizing reports, you should be very familiar with this criteria as well. Um, 
this allows me to define filters on my data that basically reduces the amount of information that I'm seeing to some particular set of criteria. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and say that our billing state and notice when I choose a field first now I can choose my filter criteria um, is or isn't uh, contains doesn't contain starts with ends with is empty is not empty depending upon the field that you're filtering on and the result that you want to achieve you may find yourself using these different filtering criteria so I'm going to say billing state is and then I can type in a field data here I can put say California if I want to use multiple values I just put a comma after each field notice I'm not leaving a space after the comma um, it's basically the field comma field comma you know field you don't need spaces after the the comma uh, so this is basically saying that the only data that's going to show up is for those accounts where the billing state is equal to California Washington or Nevada now I can add additional criteria so I can say not only do I want to filter this list by accounts located in those three states but I might also say where the account type um, isn't a customer or maybe they aren't a vendor so I want to find customers and prospects and that sort of thing um, so I can say I want to find accounts that are in these three states but also where those accounts are not a vendor and so once I've identified that I can go ahead and click Save and notice um, I already have a view by this name so I'm gonna go ahead and just say customers in California Washington and Nevada and then we'll save okay so it looks like I have eight accounts meeting that criteria all of them just happen to be in California and that gives you an example of how to use filters to create a custom view.